and welcome back to DD Academy. My name is Robert Gonzalez, and today we're going to be going over one of HubSpot's newest products, Themes, a whole new website building experience that puts more power and flexibility in the hands of its customers than ever before. We'll discuss how to create and edit pages with themes, how to adjust your theme style settings, and we'll do a brief overview of how to create your own theme. Let's dive in. First, let's discuss how themes and traditional templates are different. Traditional templates are built in the design manager using the drag and drop editor. And while these templates are easier to build, they are much less flexible and you're unable to rearrange contents inside of the page editor. Unless of course, you're using a flexible column. However, even when using flexible columns, you're only able to stack modules vertically. Themes on the other hand, are a collection of templates built using custom code and Hubble. And while these templates are a bit more difficult to build, they are far more flexible. Once built, inside the page editor, you're able to rearrange contents, both vertically and horizontally into columns, add custom spacing and margins, add background elements, including images and colors, and a whole lot more. Themes also include custom options to edit the styles of your theme. Let's take a look. To get started, go to website pages or landing pages, select create page, and then select a theme. You can either select one of HubSpot's free themes, purchase a theme from the marketplace, or use one of your own themes. We're gonna use one of our own custom themes called Tahoe. Upon entering the editor, you'll notice two distinct sections. On the right is the main page editor with all the sections of the theme's template pre-populated. As with the traditional editor, to add a section, simply click on a module and update it. This can either be done in HubSpot's default modules, which include things like the rich text, which allows you to edit on screen, and the HubSpot image module, as well as any custom modules associated with the theme itself, such as this slider. Default modules also have options to edit a styles tab, which includes alignment and spacing, background, border, and other similar things, although not all modules have those same options. A big change that comes with themes is that not only can you edit modules, but also sections surrounding the modules. To edit a section, simply hover over it and click into that section. Here, you'll see options for alignment and spacing, which allows you to center the content in a container or put it full width, as well as adjust padding and margin and background options to add background colors, images, or gradients. In a section with more than one column, you should also see options to vertically align your content relative to each other. Just like within a flexible column, you're also able to rearrange contents vertically. But unlike flexible columns, you're also able to stack items horizontally side by side. You're also able to adjust the width of those columns to be any width you'd like. On the left-hand side of the editor, you'll find a tab for Add, Contents, and Design. Add is where you will find all the modules that can be added to the page, including modules that are specifically associated with this theme. To add a module to the page, simply grab it, drag, and drop. The Contents tab simply shows you the structure of the page. And finally, we have the Design tab. The Design tab is truly what makes themes powerful. Not only do themes give you a new, super flexible editing experience, they also give you the options to change the styles of your theme at a macroscopic level. To view your style options, click Edit Theme Settings. From here, you'll see a preview of the page you're working on and a litany of options for styling your theme just the way you want. The options available are entirely up to the developer who built the theme, but in this case, we have options to adjust the header and footer, buttons and CTAs, forms, lists, and a whole lot more. Some settings even have an effect on others, as is the case with the theme default settings. For example, if I change one of the default colors, that color should update everywhere it appears. Same goes for fonts. However, more specific changes will override the theme defaults, should you choose to change them. For example, if I go ahead and update the header two styles, which as you can see has been overridden with the new font and color I just set to something else. Yeah. 
You can see that those H2 tags have been updated. However, the original color and font sent for others has remained the same. Once you've made all the changes you like, simply click Publish to make your changes live and return to the page editor. Keep in mind that any changes you make to the theme settings will apply to all pages using that theme. This includes any pages you build using that theme in the future. Finally, for those of you who want to build your own theme, I will very briefly go over how to get started. However, keep in mind that this section is only for developers who are comfortable with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, a bit of JSON, and of course, Hubble. To start building your theme, go to the Design Manager, and under the File dropdown, you'll see an option to create a new theme. You can start totally from scratch if you'd like, but HubSpot has kindly provided a boilerplate to help you get started. Once it is finished initializing, you will find that you have a fully functioning theme with all the necessary components, although it is a bit bare bones. This includes the obvious like CSS, JavaScript, and images, as well as a templates folder containing all the default templates available for this theme. It also includes system templates for things like Arrow 404 and Arrow 500 pages, as well as partials and layouts that can be combined together with main templates to build a cohesive theme. For example, in the home template, you'll see there is a base HTML partial that has been brought into the template using the Hubble extends function. Here you will also find the main editor for your template. All theme templates include a D&D area tag, which is what allows you to drag, drop, and rearrange models and sections in the editor. And some other common tags include D&D section, column, and row, which you can use to set up the structure of your page or even include some default values. You also have the ability to insert any HubSpot default modules, as well as any custom modules. Lastly today, I want to touch on the fields.json file. This is where you will set all the available theme settings you would like to include in your theme, including their default values. You then need to carry these settings over to the themes override file in the CSS folder, and apply those settings to the appropriate tags and selectors. And that'll do it for today's video on HubSpot themes. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments down below and check the description for additional resources. There is a lot more to explore here. So if you wanna see a full video on how to build your own custom theme, be sure to let us know in the comments down below. We hope to see you next time.